Da da dum dee da da dum dee. Okay, so you're actually freaking using the right mic, are you? Freaking up the intro. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> hello there, guys. Shannon here, and I am back to react to the next episode of Red vs. Blue. Oh, I swear to This is like my third time recording the freaking intro because the mic has been playing up. Uh, so hopefully it won't play up during this. But anyway, we're getting into episode 75. What the fuck's that? Fucking wires. Uh, we're getting into... I'm getting really distracted really easy today. But yes, we are getting into episode 75 of Red vs. Blue. Uh, very, very close to the season finale. Just going to jump right on in to see how this plays out. Banow. 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 Bow wow. Bow wow. Double time, man. That goes double for you, Griff. Why are we always double timing anyway? Can't we ever half time? Or how about no time? No, no, I'm, I'm in total According agreement, Griff. Simmons, the Blues have already re-established contact with their command. What? That's why we're running? Of course. By now, they could be receiving reinforcements. Doubt it. Or taking advantage of some new technological weapons development. <laughs> Not likely. Maybe their command has been giving them the same generic orders ours always gives us. Yeah, like, probably. Like, try to win and do better than you're currently doing. I swear, sometimes I think they don't even know our names. That's just what I wanted you to hear. The conversations I had with Command always provided vital intelligence. Like what? <laughs> like the really? location of the blue base. Right there. And the number of soldiers they have. Three. <laughs> also, the location of the base. Uh, you already said that one. I meant our base. Weren't we the ones that provided them the intel in the first place? That's not Basically good yet. information. The command processes our raw data and gives us back the key details. You may recall they sent us plans for the next phase of the war. They were stored in Lopez before he was kidnapped. You mean before he ran away? <laughs> yeah, he ran away. I mean, shut up, Griff! <laughs> but how do we even know he still has the plans? Last time we saw him, all that was left was the head. Maybe he stored the files in his legs or his chest. You idiot! Who stores memories in their chest? Don't you know anything about biology? The chest is strictly reserved for digestion. Maybe they'll send us more reinforcements like last time. Donut's arrival was a real turning point in the offensive. It was, actually. Oh, no. That's there the he thing. Is. Looks like he technically did kill Tex. <laughs> Griff! What? I need information on that rock ASAP! Approach the target via flanking maneuver and establish defilade at that ledge! Point Alpha! Or I could just look through the scope of the sniper rifle since that's worked the last 800 times. Yeah, alright, fine. Oh, it's Lopez! It. I like my way better. It was more dangerous for you. Sarge, I have great news. Looks like you're gonna get your plans after all. And I'm not gonna have to do any more running. So everybody wins. What about me? I didn't win anything. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure there'll be somebody's ass you can kiss. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> probably. This Doc, Doc, this is Andy. Uh, Andy, Doc is, uh, he's here to help Tucker. And he's also our worst enemy. You know, besides the Reds. And Tex on certain days. Yeah, on certain days. Thank you for introducing me to a bowling ball. Hello, bowling ball. Actually, I'm a bomb. You can talk. Why is that the first thing everybody says to me? A talking bomb, you say? I could use a fellow like you in my organization. <laughs> yeah, I should probably point out that Andy here was specifically designed to blow up and kill you. I see. <laughs> well, this is certainly awkward. Oh, yes. Kaboom! Satan's Bunyan! That's a dick I'm move. Just kidding. I didn't really explode. <laughs> oh, dick move, yes, Andy, buddy. but fucking brilliant. Opus? Donut, where did you find him? Right here. How are you two talking? Lopez, do you speak English now? No. Well, if he doesn't, then why did he just say no in English? Busted. <laughs> I got four years of high school Spanish. That's the best way to learn anything. And you bring this up now? Oh, the usual Spanish fare. I told him my name. I asked him what his name was. I asked if he knew where the bathroom was. How much a ticket for the train cost. Yeah. And I asked him for the check. Because that's, you know, favor, the best way to find information. Para el hablando con mi. <laughs> Ask him where he's been. No, ask him where he's going. Wait, ask him if he has our secret plans. And if he missed me. Lopez, KSL Tiempo. Do you know what time it is? I'm going to the beach with my cousin who likes to play tennis. I ate a pencil. Adios. Hmm, looks like he's not talking, Sarge. No, he's just like, for fuck's sake. I built in override codes for just such an event. Lopez. Give me root access. Priority Delta-1. 
Freud dar un permiso. Oh, that actually works. Por favor, diga el access code. The access code is access code. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. I'll not think about it later. Access o concedido. Lopez, replay the intel message from command. Okay. See? Okay? I'm telling you, this guy's faking. Hola, hola. Ese tu escúchame. Hola. What? Hola, hombres de God Sangrosa. Gracias por la información. Muy provechosa. Oh, come on. The recording is in Spanish? That doesn't even make any sense. I know! It sounds just like the guy that was talking to, Vic Jr. I'll bet his kids change sides. Ex Benedict Arnold, those dirty traitors. No offense, Simmons. None taken, sir. Traitor. God damn it. Wait. How did Vic have kids? I thought he had a vasectomy. Well, that's just what I. <laughs> yeah, very awkward. Here are your orders eliminate the enemy. Good luck! The translator catcher! Uh, I think he's saying something about losing his passport. No. When I was in Blue Base, Church mentioned they built a translation device out of an old bomb. He can't, no doubt, to decipher their plans to destroy us! If we don't translate the tactical plans Lopez is saying, we're all doomed! Also, try to do better and please win. Best information ever. See ya. That information could save our very lives. No, well, it's really not going to do fuck all. And use it on our message. I agree. Let me get this straight. We're going to steal a bomb from our enemies. A bomb that can be remotely detonated, I might add. Yep. And then we're going to bring it back to our base and all huddle around it. Yep. What a great plan. I know it's, it's the best plan. When you say it like that. Come on, let's move. Somebody grab Lopez's cabeza. Of course. That's not the cabeza, Donut. Hey! That's not Lopez! <laughs> oh, god damn it, Donut. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Donut. Uh, that was entertaining. That was a very... I like that one. That one. Pretty much almost pure red team. Uh, but yeah, so... Doc's hopefully going to examine Tucker. Find out what's going on there. Uh, coming up to... Uh, what seems to be the season finale of season four. And Red Team are now going to try and steal Andy. Sounds like a great episode. <laughs> uh, but in all fairness, I have to disagree with Griff in one, one sense. When he talks about how Donut was such a great addition to the team. Like he's done fuck all. He killed Tex. <laughs> He did! He's a fucking amazing fro! Fair play to him, but... It's not like he's completely fucking useless. <laughs> uh, I like that one. I like that one. And my mic actually work is working. Thank God for that. So I'm going to end it here, guys, so I can go watch the other two uh, episodes of this season. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and until next time... Goodbye!